Now, we'll discuss about the anatomy of radius bone. This bone is a radius bone. This is anterior view of the radius. This is diagram of the anterior view of the radius. This is posterior view of the radius. This is diagram. This bone is divided into three parts. Upper part. This is upper part. From here, middle part. And this part is lower part. Upper part includes head, neck and tuberosity. This tuberosity is radial tuberosity. This is anterior tuberosity. This tuberosity is anteriorly smooth and posteriorly rough. And in this rough part, biceps brachii muscle is inserted. This is biceps brachii. This muscle is inserted. This, this is soft. This shaft is, here you can see, if you cut a section of the shaft, it has three borders. This is anterior border, this is anterior border. It extends from radial tuberosity to styloid process. This is anterior border. This border is medial border or introsteous border. This is medial border or introsteous border. It extends from radial tuberosity to radial, so to ulnar notch. Head of the ulna. This is ulna notch from the head of the ulna. This is ulna notch. From the head of the ulna. Here is the ulna notch. So, we get one extra from here. And posteriorly, here this is posterior view. Posterior bottom extra from posterior margin of this radial tuberosity. Here is a lister tubercle. This is dorsal tubercle of the lister. So it extends from radial tuberosity to dorsal tubercle of the lister. This is dorsal tubercle. Lister. So it extends up to this. So here is anterior border. This is anterior border. This is medial and anthrosis border. And this border is posterior border. And surfaces, this surface is anterior surface, and posterior this surface is posterior surface, and this surface is lateral surface. So this is posterior, this is lateral surface. Here, nutrient foramen lies here, and the anterior surface. Now, lower part, lower in, lower in has, has a styloid process and here this is another notch of radius and on posterior side there is a straight tubercle. If you see from the below, here is position of the straight tubercle. It is like this. So it has Five surfaces. This surface, this is this surface is anterior surface, this surface, and here is this is notch, here is notch, under notch of head of the ulna, here, and posteriorly this is distant tubercle. This is distant tubercle, it divides the posterior posterior aspect into posterior and Lateral surface. So this is posterior part, this is lateral part. In this diagram, this is lateral part, this is posterior part. So this is lister tubercle. And just between the lister tubercle, there is oblique groove. This is oblique groove. Here is oblique groove is present. So here, oblique groove is present. So this lower end has five surfaces. Now attachments. Here you can see this is attachment of the biceps brachii muscle. If you cut a transverse section at this level, 
Here you find this is radial fibrosity. This is posterior aspect of radial fibrosity here. This part. This part is rough and here bias such brachia is inserted. At anterior part, this part is smooth. Here radial bursa is present. Here bursa is present here. Bursa. Here bursa is present. So this is attachment of the vices with the eye and that thing here is attachment of supinator muscle this is supinator muscle supinator and here is attachment of pronator teres this is pronator teres this is supinator pronator teres and here is brachioradialis brachioradialis pronator teres and here is supinator. These muscles are inserted here. And under muscle, here is pronator quadratus. This muscle is pronator quadratus. Pronator quadratus is inserted here. Muscle takes audio from here. From here. This is radial head up. Flexor digitorum superficial. Flexor digitorum superficialis. This is radial head of the flexor digitorum superficialis. And here, adductor pulsus lambda. This is adductor pulsus lambda. Sorry, this is flexor pulsus. Sorry, this is flexor pulsus lambda. Flexor pulsus longus. This is flexor pulsus longus. And here is articular capsule along the margin of the articular surface. Here is angular ligament. Here, angular ligament lies here. This is radial notch of ulna and elbow ligament attached here. This surface, superior surface, articulates with capitulum. Here it articulates with the capitulum of the humerus. Here is humerus capitulum. So we have capitulum of the humerus artery. Now on posterior side, here is origin of adductor pulsus longus, adductor pulsus longus, and here is extensor pulsus radius. This is extensor pulsus radius. So this muscle takes origin from. Posterior surface. Thank you. This radius bone ossified from one primary center will appear during intraepithelial life and later in the intraepithelial life. Primary center and two secondary center. One secondary center for lower end and one for upper end. For the lower end, the secondary center appears from the lower end during the first year of the life and it fuses with the start during the 20th year. And for the upper end of the head, it appears during the fourth year of the life and it fuses with the 18th year of the life. So this is uh, ossification, primary ossification and uh, secondary ossification. And uh, now one under the here is attachment of the extensor retinaculum. This is attachment of the extensor retinaculum. And now this is bone. You can see this. This upper this is this is upper end. Upper end. 
this is circumference, this is superior surface of the upper end, this is head, neck, this is tuberosity. And here you can see this is shaft, this is introsious border, and this border is lateral border here, and posteriorly you can see this is posterior border. Here is lister tubercle from radial tuberosity to lister tuberculosis, this is posterior border. Surface, this surface is anterior surface, here is lateral surface, and this is posterior surface. And here you can see the lower end has five surfaces. Here is notch, ulna notch for head of the ulna. Here is anterior surface, this is inferior surface which articulates with the ischiofoid and lunate bone. And here posteriorly you can see the posteriorly, this part here, this is lateral surface and posterior surface. So these are five surfaces and this just medial to this lister tubercle there is a groove, which is oblique groove is present here. And one another thing, here interstitial border gives attachment to interstitial membrane. This interstitial border gives attachment to interstitial membrane. Here interstitial membrane is attached. And another thing here, oblique card is attached. This is oblique card. And here, quadrate ligament is attached. Quadrate ligament is attached. This bone is most common fracture near the distal end, about 2 cm proximal to distal end. Here, uh, this fracture is known as Coley's fracture. So this is Alibaba radius. Thank you.